what's going on guys welcome back to my channel into today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys a walkthrough of the intake uh the m50 intake manifold on the m52 tu e46 all right so the hardest part that to be honest i faced with this whole thing is um was the throttle body right Not the throttle cable not even the throttle body itself but the throttle cable so what we did was this is only temporary but we bend up the old we actually cut it up bend it up and then put it on here where the um i think this is the throttle body positioning sensor this is the screw for it i think um we did that and, and now i gotta guess you know so now i gotta guess but what i'm waiting for though um i'm waiting for for danny he's a welder he's gonna come and he, we're gonna cut this because this is aluminum so you can't really weld this on this because this is aluminum and i think this is steel i don't know but he got a weld he's gonna bring in a, an, an aluminum you know little block and he's gonna weld it onto the throttle body and, and that block is gonna have screws where we're gonna um screw this into so you know you know if we have to remove it i can remove it no problem and change this you know i don't have to cut anything up so another thing i am still running the uh the air out of control valve you can't take that out i i hear if you do take it out you get more horsepower the guy who's going to be tuning this um that's why he told me he suggests you know just cut plus you save money you don't got to buy these hoses and shit um another thing the fuel lines this is i think the um, the fuel tank breather hose or some shit leave that vent into the atmosphere my tuner that's what he said and then this uh, I think it's one of the fuel, you know, fuel, fuel lines or the vacuums or fuel vacuums. I ran that into the manifold. There's a little nipple right here where the um, air out of control valve goes into. There's a little nipple on the side. That's why I connected this hose into there. Um, anything else? These are the purge valve sensor and this is the pisser which is right there um i only had one of these from seems seems legit so i made my own custom one on this side um you're gonna have to take this box out because you have to flip the injectors or flip the wiring or the connectors so that you could put it back on but i chose to fucking uh, leave that shit off i'm still gonna put the plastic cover on top and cover to be honest, I'm just gonna let the plastic cover sit on there. I'm not really gonna, you know, do too much. But um, that's the old manifold and all its bullshit. But um, uh, this is what my plan is right here. These wires, I'm gonna tuck them away too. Is this how it goes? Yeah, this is how it used to go. Yeah, just literally, I'm going to leave it like that. It's under the hood. It's not really going to go anywhere. If anything, it move to the side or whatever. But really not going to go anywhere. Um, and these, I am going to put it back up here and tuck it. Tuck it over here. It's going to be clean. Um, but yeah, that's why they, if you want, like, you could go crazy and put that box back. This nigga wants to fight. You could go crazy and put the box back and uh, make it look all young again. My air filter could have fit because the intake manifold is sits up higher, so this shit points down. So now I, I have to get those little cone uh, intakes. But I mean, actually, I'm not done working on this. So now I'm actually waiting for uh, for a tow truck to tow me to uh, to the next borough to get this shit tuned. Because the problem I'm having now, the runs, it runs all right. It's actually not that bad either. One. Maybe because the air, air the control valve is still connected. But um, the problem now is this. And no, I didn't stop revving. It literally cut off at like 1500 RPMs. And it's in lip mode. So, yeah. Uh, the car can't really go anywhere. Like, uh, I mean, could try.
so it moves, but you know. It doesn't go over two uh doesn't go over two K RPMs. So that's weird. <sighs> so um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'll keep you guys updated. If you guys got any questions, let me know. I'll go over the most complicated thing, which was the throttle body and the fucking throttle cable, okay? This is the stock bracket. This is the stock N52 bracket. We cut it up, bend it, and put it on here, which is probably not a good idea, but for now, uh, it works. So we're going to leave it like that. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. To be honest, this is not really gonna stay here like that. This fucking CCV. <laughs> I was just fucking around, but um, I'm probably gonna leave it open right there, let it vent to atmosphere. Uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know, man. I'll try my best to answer y'all. And um, yeah.